Okay, rolling. Five, four. All right, so today we're going to do two different colored pencil techniques in the same video. First the one that we're doing is reverse grisaille. You can tell we're doing reverse grisaille because we're working on black paper. So what I'm going to do is draw a sphere. We're going to make a little cast shadow. So this is something you really have to plan out fairly well before you start drawing. And the reason for that is you want to leave all of your shadows black. So you're leaving the black of the paper, which means it's going to require a little bit of planning on your part. I know it's probably difficult for you to see the pencil marks that I'm making right now. Um, so let's go ahead and start off by rendering the sphere with color, just like we normally would. Um, it's going to be orange, which means, as we've learned in some earlier lessons, orange is actually red in the dark, the shadow side, and then it's going to be yellow where it is uh, being hit with light. So let's start off and do some, some red. And switch to orange. Colored pencil takes a while. It's not as quick as marker. Uh, usually I think marker is the best way to go in terms of what media to use because of course your time is money and you don't want to spend too long on your drawings. But the reason that we're even talking about this is because reverse grisaille is such an interesting technique that it's really worth your time even though of course you know, if we were doing this with marker, we would have been done already. But I think you'll agree that what you get for a result is pretty exciting. Okay, so I think that's pretty good in terms of a orange sphere turning from yellow to orange to red. Now I'm going to do a little bit of background. Table right here that it's sitting on. And we're going to leave the shadow. We've talked about shadows before and about how they're darkest right next to the object and then they get more diffuse as they go away. So I'm going to kind of soften the edge of that shadow a little bit and then let's do a background behind it the brighter the colors are that you use the more saturated the color in the colored pencil the more dramatic your result is going to be when you're using this reverse grisaille technique. So if you're doing a rendering that has any kind of neon lights, or maybe you're drawing something showing a building that's lit up at night, this would be a great technique to use. And I think that's pretty good. So that's, that's reverse grisaille. Now I'd like to show you burnishing. Burnishing is a technique where we're going to use um, a white colored pencil to blend our colors together. And I think you'll see that it ends up happening is it really ends up looking more like paint than like colored pencil. Now, of course, adding white is going to make it lighter. Something to keep in mind before you start. And you have to apply a pretty good amount of pressure. They also make um, Prismacolor pencils with no pigment at all that are just for blending that you can use. This uh, technique works great with. Since I didn't have one of those, I'm using my white pencil and I'm just gonna go back in and add some color back into this. 
because it's been burnished, meaning uh, it's been all blended together, it's really going to look like nice thick paint rather than like colored pencil. If you didn't know it was colored pencil, it would be really difficult to tell what media this was. So of course the white did lighten this up a bit, which is why I'm going back in and adding some more color to it. But I think you'll agree, it's a pretty exciting technique. Something that's maybe even worth your time to spend all this amount of time with the colored pencil. It's just a little bit more. I'm going to go back in and refine my highlight. Should be maybe here. All right, and there we go. We've got uh, burnishing and reverse grisaille in the same example.